Well, today, we'll try our hands at some pork shank. Now, do not confuse those with prison shank. Because prison shank will not be as good for the belly. Now, these here come from my buddies over at Porter Road. They did a pretty good job of getting them trimmed up until they got all the skin off. But one thing, oh, that's a big bone. That's the meat. So these come from the back leg. And then they come from the leg. This hog here had some very close veins. We're going to cut that vein out right there on the side. We're not going to take this silver skin off or this sinew. We're just going to give her a good scorn. Make it simple. Simple's easier. I guess that is simple. Yeah. Anywho. We're going to season up today. We're going to use the AP, and this is one of the best out there for my friends at Swine Life. And then we're going to make it barbecue, some of that Mojo barbecue. Good stuff. Get you some. I'll have links for all this stuff down in the description. There you have it. It has sweated in. It's hot outside, so I'm going to spend, oh, I'm going to tell you it's going to take four or five hours. I don't know. Speed things up because it's hot outside. We're going to be cooking an outlaw patio with Fogo charcoal for cold bed and we're going to be burning just straight cherry because i like cherry good sweet smoke good color we're going to try to run about 275 throughout this whole cook we're going to put them on the grates since this is a stick burner we're going to put the fat end towards the fire box and, uh, there you have it man that right there looks pretty dang good jiggly i'm going to be running the water pan in this cook and that's going to help me keep that Temp consistent at 275. I'm going to go check it at about two hours, see if we need a spritz. And we don't. That water pan is doing its job. Plus, these things are packed with fat, so it's a uh, base in itself. So here we have pretty good looking meat at the two and a half hour mark. What I'm going to do is uh, we're going to wrap them. Oh, we got to give them that snort test. It smells good. As we've discussed before, about 170. You know, this meat's not going to take any more smoke inside. We don't want to bitter it up. We're going to wrap them up. This is first time cooking, so we're just going to experiment. I'm going to do one with this here Japanese barbecue sauce. I like it. You should too. And that we're going to add a little bit of that ghee, which make ghee. If y'all want a video, just let me know. Basically, it's about cooking butter like for an hour. Very low temps. Get that. Wrap her up real good and tight. And uh, get the other one out. Listen, we're just going to go barbecue flavor. I'm going to use here Tennessee. Oh, oh, sorry. Tangy Tennessee from my buddy over at Man Meat Barbecue. One of the best vinegar sauces out there right now. Plus some ghee. Wrap her up. The third one ordered me some stickers and they sent me this here free hot sauce. From a sticker mule. Hey, it's not that bad. We're going to put a few splashes there on it. And I like maple syrup. We'll pour some maple syrup plus honey all over it. I'm going to probe this one just so I don't have to run back and forth to uh, outside to check the tent. I can check it from in the house. And whoop, I forgot to turn my phone off. All right, wrap them up. We're going to put them back out on the smoker. This is what they look like. They've been out there for, uh, let's see. Oh, wait a second. I forgot which one was which. So, hmm, made me excited. Uh, temperature wise, we're sitting at about 208 degrees, which makes it good and tender. Look at that, just falling right in there. And it took, I don't know, about an hour and a half. I think I've already done. Anywho, get them in the poor man's Cambro, let them rest about 30 minutes. Here we have it. The final product. Man, these things look pretty good. Let's start it. Make sure. Mm. Once again, I did not mark which ones was which, so you got to snort them. See, we're going to pull this one apart just to show you. It comes clean off that bone, kind of like a butt, and it is perfectly cooked. I'm going to pull her, see what the meat looks like on the inside. Kind of beef cheeky. Nice texture, good and gelatinous. and of a dark meat. Look how tender that right there is. Oh, so delicious. Oh, yeah. That's like <laughs> I'm pulling a hamstring there. 
Make sure you pull them good and get all that stuff like that out of there. Mm. Okay, that's the Japanese one. What we're going to do here, I'm going to run in the house right quick. First, I'm going to hit it with a little more Japanese barbecue sauce. I'm going to give me some of these 42 cent instant lunch ramen noodles. Give her a good mixing and a taste. Here we go. Don't forget to let that stuff cool off because it is hot. Let me tell you, I just turned that 42 cents of lunch into like at least a buck 30. As it's, ugh, this stuff's awesome. Done these other two. I'm not going to pull them because I had to have a picture. They're great. They're awesome. I can do tacos. I can do a barbecue sandwich, barbecue nachos, or get you some ramen. Make the mojo lunch of the day. All righty. That is it. You know what? I appreciate you. Mojo is out.